This is all you need to build a real voltage-controlled oscillator. Here's how it works. This Schmidt trigger inverter watches the voltage at this point. Think of voltage as electrical pressure. When it's low, the inverter pushes current through the diode and into the capacitor. This charges the cap, and like a balloon filling with water, the pressure, or voltage, above it builds up. Once it's high enough, the inverter shuts off its output. Now the transistor acts like a drain valve, allowing the capacitor to discharge. How fast? That depends on the voltage at the transistor's base. The higher it is, the more the valve opens. Finally, when the capacitor voltage is low enough, the inverter turns on its output, and the cycle restarts. If we trace the capacitor voltage over time, we get a classic sawtooth wave, whose frequency we can control by adjusting the voltage at the transistor's base. Want to try this yourself? Our DIY VCO kit lets you build the full circuit. It's fun, surprisingly easy, and sounds great. You can find it in the Arikasins webshop.